Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Catherine and today's video is going to be a little bit of a combined thrift haul from two different thrift trips. So if that is something you want to watch, then please stick around. All right, so let's get started with some of the first stuff. This was from the thrift trip. These items right here that um, I did last week, I think. Um, last week, my husband and I went out, picked up a few things. It's a grand old day. So let's get started. So this was probably uh, the best. Oh, it wasn't last week. What am I talking about? It was literally this Saturday. Yeah, this Saturday. <laughs> and then I went thrifting again on Monday. Clearly, it's been a it's been a long week already. Um, so this is probably one of the more exciting finds, if you will. This is an MM LaFleur, and if you can see right here, this baby is new with tags. Um, this is like a almost two hundred dollar dress, really cute, like little. Um, I called it like a sh like a slight fit and flare shift dress because the the flare isn't too much, but it does flare out just a little bit. It is a size ten. Um, this is the Annie 2.0 crimson dress, so super duper beautiful, great find. Has some good stretch to it as well. And if you wouldn't believe, I'm not a person who like immediately hauls or uh, I shouldn't say hauls um immediately list their items like they sit for a little bit you know they like to, I like to have them mature in my reselling room it's not the best way of doing it but I was actually on top of it so these first items that I hauled on Saturday have already been drafted photographed and some of them have even been listed so I am on top of my game feeling really good about things so the next item I picked up is this really pretty Lulu's dress. It has this kind of crochet top. Um, this area is lined and then it is full maxi all the way down. It has this really pretty large back cutout. And this is a size small. So that is what the Lulu tag looks like. Yeah, size small. It's, this is a jumpsuit from City Chic. This tag, to be honest, I don't think looks as nice as the quality of the clothes or the retail value of the clothes. Um, so I'm pretty sure I probably skipped a lot of City Chic in the past just because I didn't really look it up. But I did pick up one item that I've already sold, this really pretty like sequin dress that retailed for like... $120. So I was like, oh, I had no idea this brand retails for so much. So now I'm definitely on the lookout. It is a like a trendy plus size clothing brand that does vanity sizing. So this is a size small, but it is a 16. It's this actual jumpsuit. So kind of wide leg jumpsuit, with these fun little cutout details. I feel like I'm kind of grainy. Let's see if I turn off the light, if that changes anything. Probably not. All right, really pretty, already been photographed. I don't think it's been listed quite yet, but it will be soon. Um, picked up this really cool kind of Zara piece, size small, kind of this grungy gray t-shirt with this fun, um, like kind of contrasting paisley print on it with a clear back. Now this is a brand that I feel like I'm breaking up with, um, but I, I haven't been able to cut the ties quite yet. And that is cloth and stone. Um, I specifically picked up this piece because, well, it's really just really cute, um, but it's also with anthropology. So cloth and stone um, can be collaboration with anthropology not always, um, but I noticed the ones that are in collaboration do a little bit better than ones that are not. But this is a really fun kind of plaid little shirt dress with little ruffle details on these sleeves. Um, so summer is coming up tomorrow that I'm filming this. I'm filming this on the 20th, but summer will be here tomorrow on the 21st. But if you have not watched my reseller recap, I will link it up in the corner for you. Um, I just did my one for May and my um, average days to sell is about 45 days. So if you got fall stuff, you might want, might want to consider listing it now. Also, if you have swimsuits, I shared this last week on my Instagram. If you're not following me there, um, it'll be listed down below. But 
I had sold like four items in one day and three of them were swimsuits. So make sure you're getting your swimsuits listed as soon as possible. The next item is this really cool, well, I should say really cute, very cute and preppy J. Crew classic shirt dress. This tag is newer to me. I haven't seen this tag before, but it is within the last few years. Um, it might just be on like maybe the classic pieces. I don't know. Um, this is a really cute, like little preppy shirt dress. So it buttons all the way down and this really cute pr uh, plaid print does have a waist tie. Um, perfect for summer days. Then we have this cabby cardigan with the newer tag. I always say this. I don't know why we still call cabby new tag. This new tag has been around for like 10 years now, I feel like. Um, but it is a size small. It's this fun kind of southwestern esque open front cardigan with like the fringy details the little hip pockets pattern goes all the way around. Now this one was just fun and I actually think I'm going to keep it for me. Um, and if I don't keep it for me, then I have a feeling that if I sell it, it will be on Depop. But this is a vintage sweatshirt and it, what does it say? American Netherland Dwarf Rabbit Club. Gem of, gem of the fancy. I don't, I, I don't know what this, I didn't do any sort of research, but I loved the blue. I just thought the fun, funky graphic on it. It is on an old Hanes active, active wear, um, sweatshirt. I think I might keep this for myself. Um, it's just fun, but if I do sell it, it probably will sell on Depop. To pick up one pair of pants, this is from Pilcrow and the Letterpress, which is sold at Anthropology. This is a serif um, fit. It is size 30. These are these like ponty knit pants. Um, they are, you can't, I don't know if you could tell, but they do have some like pilling on them, but it's kind of hard to, like you can only really see it if you're up close. So this is why I ended up picking it up. Like you can definitely feel the pilling, but you can't really see it super up close. So hopefully somebody will really love these for workwear in fall. It's kind of that classic skinny style. This is another brand I feel like I'm, I want to break up with, but just can't. I even bought another dress not too long ago from this brand. Um, this is French Connection. Again, this can retail pretty high, but resale, meh. But I just picked it up because again, I had fall in mind and it was just this really pretty ribbed like sweater dress, mock knit with this kind of like geometrical stitching in it. So it kind of like gave off this hourglass body shape. So gorgeous. Just, just had to pick it up. Sometimes things are just too pretty. And then this, this shirt, I should say, uh, was on the half off rack and I didn't really check comps. I just kind of like, we're just going with it. Um, I probably would not have picked this up um, cause I kind of just averaged out all of my prices. I, I kind of waxed the wane from doing that. Sometimes I'll just, um, just do the individual price. Sometimes I'll just average it out. Um, this one, I just averaged it out. I probably would not have paid this much for it. Uh, but the brand is Kaylee and why I was interested in it is because it said it was made in Guatemala. So again, a lot in a lot of my videos, if something is made somewhere else besides China, um, I am always a little bit more interested in it just to see if it has any more value, but is this, it is this really cute, um, like little floral, uh, blouse with like this knotted detail, kind of a tiered hem with, um, the elasticized sleeves size medium. This did end up being, I think an item from Stitch Fix, Stitch Fix, which I know a few years ago used to be really popular of people, people picking up Stitch Fix items. Um, I don't know if it's still popular anymore. <laughs> So this probably was a bad buy, but I'm, it's it's already listed. So if you're interested in it, please check out my Poshmark closet down below um, and you can purchase it there. So before getting into the items that I picked up yesterday, I will say on Father's Day in our neighborhood, we do have like a Facebook 
um facebook group for our neighborhood and stuff like that somebody had posted like all these free items and i spotted this purse back here and i told my husband i was like you need to go <laughs> you need to go pick this up asap so he found this in a free pile so this is a michael kors bag there's definitely some issues with it that i do need to like clean up and stuff um but overall it seems to be in really decent condition i mean just you know some normal little pen marks here and there but good condition and to be honest you can't beat free so i did bait because i don't know why i have such a uh, like affinity for not affinity is not the right word i have such a uh aversion that's the right word such an aversion from selling like bags online i don't know why um so this might be something that i just take to Playgirl's closet and see if they'll resell or i'll just get over it and <laughs> list it online too on on my platforms all right so this next section of clothing plus a whole bunch of shoes um this came from a thrift trip that i went on with one of my really good friends and um so to be honest we were kind of more chatting and having a good time opposed to me like actually searching comps and like doing all that kind of stuff so some of this stuff i probably if i want to comp it out i probably wouldn't have picked it up but we were having such a good time and you know we, we yoloed it basically so everything got thrown into the cart so the first thing that I picked up was this really cute gingham. Where is this gingham? No, it's not. It's not gingham. This is a um, buffalo plaid. There's so many names for plaids. It's a plaid skirt. Really cute, like kind of summery. Let me put that down. Summery skirt that transitions probably really well into fall. This is another brand that I haven't picked up in a really long time. This is Sunday in Brooklyn, size medium. Sometimes this is sold at Anthropology. sometimes it's not. I would say probably most of the times it's not, but it was too cute not to pick up. And then I kind of, again, if you saw my last thrift haul video, I will link it up in the corner for you. Um, I have started to kind of like pick up a little bit more vintage type of stuff this being one of them this is i don't even know if this would be vintage i don't know we'll just show you the brand so this is jones uh jones what is it? jones new york collection so i'm probably thinking this is probably on the higher end of the jones uh jones new york but it's really pretty wool midi skirt maxi skirt that kind of has that flare kick at the bottom again perfect for fall it is still where is it i saw it still new with tags i actually didn't realize it was new with tags until i, I got it home um it's a size 12 came from bloomingdale's so i'm gonna assume that it probably retailed for quite some money next item is this plaid um plaid button down from Torrid. so it's a size two so that means it's a 2x um or an 1820 if i'm not mistaken kind of this high low no it's not high low um but how would i describe this kind of kind of almost peppermy if you will kind of has this seam right here where it flares out just a little bit a little bit more than just a button up has a little bit extra details to it um and if you didn't know Tord is a brand that gives you a lot of good information on this content tag. It tells you the cut date, meaning that this was um, summer of 2018. So a little bit on the older side, we'll say it's five years old, but still in really great condition and still very relevant to 2023. This is a new brand that I have not found before. I have heard of it before, but I have not found it. This is Matilda Jane. Um, I do know that they, I think they make like what mommy and me type of clothing. Um, so this is an adult blouse with a cute like little Peter Pan rounded collar, kind of this like pleated floral print tank. So again, not something that I comped out, but have heard other people pick up and can do relatively well with. This is a size medium. Some good old free people. So this is 
free people tag size small it's kind of this like black little mini dress like wrap mini dress almost like military kind of looking as well the grommets everywhere it might be missing a belt it looks like there's belt loops but i don't know if it's like missing the belt um but good thing about free people for most of the items they do have um a style number that ob number at the very bottom not all um tags have that but it definitely does help narrow your search a little bit but i will say not all ob numbers are attached to the actual item so say for instance I use this OB, OB number, it will actually be with a different item. So you just have to use your description words, but it does help majority of the time. This cute little, little cardigan, crochet cardigan. Um, this is by Anthropology, so this is just their house brand. Um, this is a size medium. I actually picked this up um, on a new, new rack that they were bringing out that I decided to flip through very cute again free people and anthropology are the same company so this one has a tag this one yes has an ob number as well to search it this was a, an interesting find um so for some reason we were going down the skirt aisle i never really go down the skirt aisle but ended up finding a lot of great ones this is older tag Eileen Fisher size large it is a new tag it is suede and it retailed for 338 right there this is the Aubergine Aubre Aubergine KL panel skirt so again kind of this like A-line suede skirt you guessed it perfect for the fall <laughs> apparently I had fall in mind or it was just law of attraction or something like that okay i guess we'll, we'll stick with the skirts this one being another fall skirt kind of vintagey this is evan pacone size 12. um it is made of 100 percent wool again kind of this really fun plaid wrap midi skirt And then, of course, I had to peruse the jeans. Uh, first pair I found were these wedgie straight Levi's jeans. I don't know if wedgies or the wedgie um, style are still popping like they used to because it definitely paid up for these, but I got my 20% discount, so it was nice. Um, but again, these are short. They're so they are small waist size and they're short. So again, you are going to be looking for a needle and a haystack, but still really cute little wedgie style button front jeans. All right, the next item I found in the dresses. This is a new to me brand, but I think literally like two days prior, I was watching Denali with um, El Dujo Thrift. I will link her channel down below. She was talking about Prairie Underground and then I actually found it. Um, so this is a size small. I think it's kind of like a lag and looky hemp because I know it's made of hemp. So. I don't know, more of a like minimalistic type of um, company, kind of like Eileen Fisher. But it's a cute like little gray shirt dress. It does have little areas that I need to work on, but I was super excited to find a new to me brand. Um, so I always like finding new brands, see how, how they'll sell. This is just an ASOS jacket, it's faux leather, but again, perfect for fall, kind of that moto style jacket that are very classic uh type of look the the faux leather seems to be in really great condition and kind of from further away i mean once you touch it you know it's faux leather but it does kind of give that appearance of nice leather and it is a us 16 so it was on the um more of the mid to plus size range which i think people will love another torrid piece this is a size one or a 1x or a 14 to 16 really cute kind of sweater dress like fit and flare sweater dress it does need a little bit of sweater shaving um but with a cute kind of cut out hole in the back 
and let's see I know I checked it in store because I was telling my friend how I look at these two and like how to determine what is something of uh, worth to resell and the cut date is from October 2019. This was a fun find only because the last time I sold, um, I don't think it was this, maybe it wasn't necessarily this brand, but it was something like this. It was kind of a fun, funky sweater. Um, it sold on Depop uh, for like 75 bucks within a minute of listing it. Um, so this one definitely isn't nearly as fun as the other one, but it's still really fun. It's this cute like little holiday knit sweater with all these different prints on it. It is from Storybook Knits. Um, I know the other one that I sold from this brand sold pretty well too. Not the one on Depop because I do think that was another brand, but I did sell one from this brand still relatively at a good value. So I was happy to see it, uh, to see that this is from exclusively, exclusively from Home Shopping Network. So pieces like this can be desired um, just because they're exclusive. This was a new to me brand, but I thought it was super cute. I'm thinking, you know, like Taylor era's tour type of outfit. Um, <laughs> this is from, I can get it. Where is it? Alexa Admore, size 14. This seems it's tiny for a size 14. Um, but it's this really cute like little crochet. I don't, I wanna say it's more of a tunic because it the, the bust is lined. So it makes me think that it's not missing like any sort of camisole underneath. So it's more of a tunic type style. But I mean, couldn't you see yourself wearing this going to see Taylor? like for sure for sure and then I actually ended up picking this up for me my friend found it this is uh, just Marilyn Monroe which is actually sold at JC Penney's but it is new a tag retail for $89 so if this isn't something that um, I feel like works for me I will definitely resell it and it's very cool that it is new with tags all right, the next two pieces, I intentionally bought them for myself, um, but they didn't end up working out. I bought them from somebody's closet closing sale, and they are both um, Girlfriend Collective brands. They're just two little sports bras. So this one's kind of this like slate gray, more of a high support sports bra. I wish I had the style for you. I don't have the style but I do know that it does um, it's a size extra large I would say it runs small and then the other one is just a pullover style racer back kind of this fun like orangey burnt sienna type and again size extra large does run small though all right so let's get to a lot of the shoes because that's where I feel like a bulk of my uh my purchases were all right, first off, I will show you something that um, I ended up getting my niece, hoping that my whole bag of shoes doesn't fall. Um, just this cute like, little unicorn backpack with the sequins on it. She is obsessed with unicorns, so I figured I'd get this for her. Little, his little horns, little, little, little sad, but that's okay. I think she'll love it. <laughs> Uh, my next find was these Paul Green um, shoes. If I'm not mistaken, are Paul Greens, are they German? Something like that. They have, they have a little bit of a funky sizing. Um, so these are eight and a half, but in Paul Green sizing, it's an eight and a half, but I want to say like in US sizing, this might be like an 11 or something like that. So that is what the, the soles look like this is another brand that I feel like I'm ready to break up with just because I have a few other pairs of Paul Green shoes that I found at the bins they're a little bit more vintagey so maybe that's the issue but you know I have a pair of booties from Paul Green and they are just not moving maybe they're just it was a really tiny size I don't know but they're just not moving for me so what do I do I buy more Paul Green they do retail for a lot though 
So I just wish they would resell for me too. All right, he did it. I bought Crocs for myself <laughs> and I bought the classic Crocs for myself. My friend and I were actually joking because I found another pair of Crocs, like the flats, like the, the cute like looking ballet flats. I don't know why I didn't end up picking them up, but, um, and we were just like talking about like, you know, uh, her sister had just bought Crocs and saying how they were really comfortable and how they were just her inside shoes. And then they turned into her outside shoes. And then I ended up finding a pair of Crocs and they were my size. And I was like, I think I'm going to get them for myself because I will tell you, I'm developing plantar fasciitis in my right foot and it is killing me. And I have to have some sort of shoe with like an insole or like an arch support in it. So my feet don't kill me all day. So I'm trying out Crocs. Let me know. Are you a Croc fan down below? We'll see. I did try these on in the store and they did feel really comfortable. So I'll put that over there because they definitely need to be washed. All right, found some Allbirds too. Um, so these are the, I haven't seen this color before, but it's like a very electric blue. Um, these are the wool runners. They do need to be washed. They have some pet hair all around them. Um, these are the wool runners in a women's 11. They have the soles in them. The, the soles look pretty good too, like not too much wear on them. So these will be washed. I've said it once, I'll say it again. I'm a sucker for Cole Haan. Found a really nice pair of Cole Haan like ankle boots. What are they perfect for? You guessed it, fall. Um, these are a little bit on the smaller size of what I like to pick up, but you know, people with size six shoe need to, uh, size six foot need shoes too. Um, they are waterproof, this kind of nice rugged brown leather. I probably will use a little bit of the um, Dr. Do, not doctor doc martin's wonder balsam to kind of just clean them up a little bit but i do think they kind of look nice with this like rugged leatherness of them all so picked up those this was a new to me brand this was on the end caps where you need uh the for them to go find the match for you this is called good man brand and it's just this white sneaker kind of with like this black um contrasting i do need to clean them up a little bit they are a size 11 and a half but it does look like these retail for like the 140 dollar range and that they resale in the 100 to 80 dollar range definitely these were marked up but luckily they were half off because i was not going to pay the marked up price but these were half off so i was okay paying that price <laughs> And another thing that I haven't found before, I found my first pair of Hoka's. I found them, where does it say it? Right here, Hoka's. <laughs> they look to be in really great condition too. I mean, no, no rot. I was like double checking. It's like, are they? No rot wear, no nothing like that. They are the only deterrent, and I was telling my friend this too, is that they are a wide, um, a wide foot, which Again, people with wide feet need shoes too. So uh, I was just, I'm very, very curious to see how well these sell. Again, I did pay up for these, but this is the first time that I have found Hoka's in the wild. So I was super excited about that. Um, did find a pair of these Sperry's. Typically I don't pick up Sperry's, but again, I kind of liked this leather look of them. I will use that Wonder Balsam to kind of clean these up because I do think they um, would look a little bit better when they're conditioned, but they are a men's size eight. Um, interesting, there was a lot of winter boots there and we'll get more into it, um, but this is a pair of Merrell's kids Merrell uh snow boots the bottoms looked amazing um the interior is less to be desired a little bit of pilling in there but they are size um says boys snow bank 2.0 waterproof size five so if you're looking for kids snow boots hit me up 
This is probably something I shouldn't have picked up, but I was potentially going to wear it to like a friend's wedding. Um, these are just auto heels, which actually auto heels retail for a lot. I mean, most of the heels are like $90 and above. Um, this is just one of those classic like platform, open toe platform ankle straps. They are size 10. So I thought about wearing those. Now these were the interesting finds. So I found a few of these little boots. I initially thought they were like biking shoes. Turns out these are ski boots. These are the funkiest ski boots I've ever seen. I'm used to like, I haven't skied in like decades at this point. Um, but I remember, you know, those big clunky plastic ski boots. These are like super nice, lightweight. It seems like you can actually walk in them. Um, and they almost have like, like an interior, interior shoe in them as well. Super interesting. So of course, anything interesting I have to look up. These are Fisher RCS Classics. These retail for like $300. I found two pairs of these and another pair that I'll show you. Um, so I got these. The other ones that are in another bag but before i get that i will um let me show you these last pair uh these are some adidas boost what are they they were some sort of nice boost now i can't remember but these are um men's size eight um, I remember looking them up online and they retailed for like 140 bucks i do need to clean them a bit um so to get them in looking in prime condition, but I guess I've just been picking up a lot of sneakers lately. I, I'm turning into a sneakerhead apparently. That's a joke. I am not turning into a sneakerhead. I know, I know absolutely nothing about sneakers, but anything that looks interesting, I'll pick it up. All right, let me get my other bag. All right, so these were the other ski boots. These look, a little, for some reason, they look a little bit more futuristic than the other ones, but these are the... Rossignol Performance Series, the X8 Pursuit. So that is what it looks like. Um, this one seems a little bit more um, believable to be a ski boot, just kind of with that ankle support right here. Um, but again, that's what the bottom looks like. That's where you clip into, um, you know, some traction when you're walking on snow. These are a size 39, the, yeah, X8 Pursuit. So who knows, these also retail for like $300. So I am always a fan of picking up stuff that's a little bit unique and interesting and I've never found before and just seeing how it does. And then the last thing I found was a good old pair of Tevas. So nice, just like classic water shoe, this fun little little print on it again these new to be these do need to be cleaned up a little bit like there's some some hairs that need to be chopped off but um these are a size size 10 so looking around pretty sure that was it that was my whole haul from this past weekend um had a lot of good times my husband and I husband and I had a good time when we went together. It was more of a quick trip. Um, and then my friend and I definitely had a good time. We went to Target beforehand. We then got sushi and then we went thrifting for a few hours. So it was a wonderful day. Um, so like I said, this half of stuff, now that you can't see that the dress is flipped up, but this stuff will be listed, um, very soon within this week. This other stuff that I found on Monday, it will take me a little bit to get going as well as the shoes, but, if you see anything that you're interested in um, that I haven't had listed, let me know and we can do like a private sale. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. If you like reselling content, if you like beauty content, today's uh, look is very simple, but I'm loving just this kind of like wash of shimmer on my eyes. Everything will be linked down below of all the makeup that I've been wearing. So please consider subscribing if you like those two types of things, leaving a like on your way out, commenting what was your favorite find from today. And with that, I will see you in my next video. Bye.